Growing up, I knew that I had mental health issues because I knew that it ran in the family, but I didn't do much to take care of myself. When I was a junior in high school, all of that kind of fell apart. I realized that I really needed help, so I had to start by telling my mom. It was a really hard conversation. It was really uncomfortable and scary, but had I not done that, I might not be here today. And because I was able to talk to her about it, she was able to help me get the help I needed. An anchor is something that grounds you and brings you back to who you are and where you are. It could be a feeling, a loved one, a pet, a favorite food, a song, a movie, or even a memory. Anchors that keep me grounded in everyday life are my cat and sunrises. It's easy for me to say that my cats are one of my anchors because whenever I'm having a rough day, they will just intuitively know. Come up, sit on my lap, ask me to pet them, or just be around me so I don't have to go through that alone. The first time I heard about Anchors was through the channel Kindness Story. Reading through it, I realized that the message and the movement meant so much to me that I had to get involved. I ordered some boxes for the places I worked, for some loved ones. When you open it, there is a message plastered right on the cardboard that lets you know that this box is for you if you are feeling hopeless, upset, alone. And it reminds people that they aren't alone, but there is hope. Inside the box are a plethora of items for people to find, whether it's a bracelet with reminders that they are loved, a pin with the Finder Anchors logo, a deck of cards of anchors that anyone could choose from, whether it's their favorite meal, a game night with friends, and also a very thoughtful letter from the founder, Ali Borowski, reminding them that whatever they are going through, they are not going through it alone, and that there are so many people out there who love them and who will love them in the future. When I found Finder Anchor, it seemed like serendipity because there was someone in my life that needed its message very dearly. When I ordered the boxes for some of my friends, I saved one for my very best friend. He was going through a bit of a rough time and didn't know what was next for him in his life or how he could even begin reaching out to people, letting them know that he needed help or he needed to be reminded that they cared. So I gave him a Find Your Anchor box and it was part of the reason why he is still with us today. I am so glad that I took the Please Stay Pledge and that I took the time to find my anchors because my life is so much better for it. I encourage you to take the Please Stay Pledge. Whether or not you are experiencing a mental health crisis, it is the greatest act of love that you can do for yourself and for everyone else. Find resources to support your mental health, evidence-based self-care tips, and other examples of anchors at pleasestay.us.